Um, so one of the, I wanted to start with the governance of the library because I think that's one of the things that is the most unclear. Um, this library is an independent library that runs under the Newcastle County system as well as the Delaware Division of Libraries. We do have a board of nine people who are our governing board, and that's who I answer to. But we, just because we are part of the county system, we're not a county library, but we are part of their system, so we have to follow their rules as well. I do have a contract, with, a yearly contract that I have with them because they do provide more than 50% of my funding. And uh, so we, and also we want to have a very seamless library experience no matter which library you go to. So we, we do everything as much as possible the same way as the county, but because we're independent, we can do things a little bit different if we so choose. Um, we also are part of the state consortium, the Delaware Library Catalog Consortium. So we also have state policies and rules and regulations that we have to follow. <coughs> and we get funding from the state. Um, then we also thank the trustees for all of the support they give us every year. I get grant from them, but they also, because they own the building, take care of my maintenance, and sometimes it's more expensive than um, expected, but uh, I, it's something that, as an independent library, I would never be able to do without the support of the trustees. And as Tommy said, they own this building, so that is also um, very helpful to have that support. Um, our last supporting organization is the library, is the Newcastle Library Friends. Membership with the Friends is only ten dollars for an individual or fifteen for a family. Uh, Matt Alexander is here as a representative from them. It's one of his many hats tonight. Um, and they do have their table in the back if you are interested in becoming a member of the Friends. They do a lot of great fundraising. The things that they have done for the library is provided some AV equipment. They provide the walk-in collection that is the really high demand books that you can walk in and say, oh, I've been on hold for this book for five weeks. And now I can take it home and I don't have to wait anymore. So they provide that. Um, they provide support for programming. And uh, one of the newer projects that we just met about today is the garden in the back. The friends are going to be looking at hiring somebody to do some renovation in there to make it a more usable space, as, all, as well as having some um, contracting for maintenance so that that garden also gets maintained. Um, some of the things we do at the library, obviously, we loan books. So if you are interested in getting a library card, if you don't have one, I have applications and you can fill one out and probably by the time we finish, they're going to be closed upstairs, but you can bring the application back and get a card the next time you come into the library. Um, that card gives you access to one, tons of online resources. Anything in the whole, in any public library in the whole state of Delaware. So if you're in Rehoboth and you're like, oh, I don't like the book I'm reading, and I want that five more days at the beach, go to the Rehoboth Library and get a book. Go to South Coastal and Bethany Beach and get a book. Your library card is good at all of those libraries. Um, we also have tons of programs. Grabbing one. Calendar. Um, and we are also get, having more and more in-person programs because we are able to just do, do a little more, two more things in person. Um, for some of the adult programs, we have book discussion groups. There's just one that is kind of a, um, Tyler is my adult services librarian and he does, um, just kind of a, a literary book discussion, um, different things that the group chooses. I run a mystery book dis discussion called The Usual Suspects. We have a program called Library After Hours, which is usually a hands-on activity kind of program with a BYOB option. So um, we do allow you to bring your 
couple beers or a bottle of wine or something like that so you can enjoy that, which is why it's after hours. It's a Friday night event for people to have a, a fun night out doing something, meeting new people. Um, so we have a, a virtual program called Real to Real, which is watching a documentary of some sort. The last one they did was the Blockbuster one. I can't remember the name of the movie, but it was about the Blockbuster um, movie rental company to help and what they were doing. And then afterwards is the discussion about that documentary. Um, kids programs in October, I hired a fantastic children's librarian and she has been gearing up all kinds of programs for, she does story times for uh, babies and toddlers, she does craft program, Lego club, we have Paws, which is reading to dogs. Um, we started that again. Some teen programs that we are really trying to promote. Uh, an anime club, so if you know anybody who is the age of 12 to 18 and into anime, they can come. <coughs> um, video gaming. Um, we also have, a, for the children, we have an early readers book club, which is for like first to third grade <coughs> age group. Um, so, like lots of different things for all kinds of interests. Um, we also have, which you may have seen prior to COVID, a bike book mobile. We are the only library in the state of Delaware that has this bike book mobile. And we have taken it to the city events like a day in Old Newcastle, the concerts in the park. And so we have the book mobile down there where people, if they happen to say, oh, I have my library books in the car, let me return them to you. They can do that. They can check out a few of the books that we might bring down if it's something that is of interest to them. Um, and we haven't taken it out yet since COVID, but we're hoping to do it this summer. Um, so look for that. Um, one of the other services we have is using meeting rooms. Uh, we are still kind of gearing up for bigger meetings. This is one of the biggest meetings we've had in the building in two years. Um, use of this room is by reservation. Use of the classroom down the hall is by reservation, but we also have small study rooms that can be used. If you just walk in and say, I need a quiet place to do some work, we can do that. Um, we also offer the conference room either by reservation for slightly larger groups or sometimes individuals will use that room. Um, some of the things we did when we had to shut down for COVID was almost immediately after those two months of total quarantine, we started curbside services so you could still get your books, check them out, we would bring them out to you. Um, Newcastle County installed a, a um, more robust Wi-Fi signal than what we had for outside in the parking lot. And so um, people could sit in their cars and access our Wi-Fi. Um, we did virtual programming and that was really big. Lots of people participated. And in fact, we ended up with people from all over the world participating in some of our programs. Um, some of the upcoming things we have that we are planning, one is a tool library. So it's called a library of things and it's getting to be kind of a big thing. Some of the other libraries have these library of things where they are lending out board games or video equipment, that kind of thing. Um, and then we also have a seed library and we, I brought down the seed library catalog so you can see what kind of seeds we have. All you have to do is look at it Take the seed you want out of the drawers that are upstairs and write your name down what you're taking. And I already mentioned the garden meadow. So, oh, and this sat no, next Saturday the 19th, we are having a plant cutting exchange and a introduction to the tool library. I'm done. Thank you. I see you have your great book sale too. Yes, we have. We're well, actually going to have this. The friends will have four book sales this year. Yes. Separation Day? May Market. May Market Separation Day, Day in Old Newcastle, and then when we do our Winter Fest, which we did the first time last winter, last December on Spirit Christmas, huge success that was Nicole. It was her brain child. She, it was awesome. And art, and on so, the, art on the Green. Art on the Green. Oh, I said Art on the Green. Okay. Yes. Uh, you, you missed that. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? All right. Well, I'll be over here.
I'm always available. You might want to mention it's a great place to volunteer. So. Oh, yes. <laughs> it is a great place to volunteer. We have There's lots of opportunities. Lots of opportunities for volunteering, whether you're a friend or you just want to volunteer at the library. So if you want to do that, you can come see me as well.